This might be one of those videos that we hope mom doesn't see. So baby Jack, Jack Jack, the crazy kid who puts everything from tons of soap and ketchup and brownie mix to you name it in his hair has decided to put peanut butter all over his face and in his ear. Oh, he got it out. I brought him into the bathroom because I thought I was going to have to extract this with some tweezers. But you got it out. Uh, Did you get it out of your ear? Ah. Uh, Did it hurt? Oh my ass. Do you want to eat it now? Uh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> he he looks like if you licked him, I'm sure the cat or the dog would have a big treat. Sophie. If if they yeah, Sophie and Kitty Cat are on the bed and in the bedroom. But look, he's got chocolate brownie stuff he's got peanut butter all over him so he's a mess but his ear appears to be peanut free so whew, mom is gone and i'm supposed to be watching him and apparently mm, ah, the things kids do crisis averted actually upon further inspection of his ear it appears there is something in there so we're gonna try to hey, put your head down. Put your head down. Lean down. Okay, turn over. Do not try this at home, folks. We carefully extracted this a little bit. Okay, stay there. Stay still. Stay still. Using this non-surgical device. <gasps> So, that was in your ear, dude. What are you doing putting that in your ear? Are you nuts? This might be one of those videos that we hope mom doesn't see. <laughs> because he had like two pieces of peanut in his ear. Did you put any, get your fingers out of your ear. Was that in your ear too? <laughs> here, come here. Come here, turn around. Turn, turn, stop. I couldn't find any Q-tips. This kind of scares me. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home. Let's try this other ear. Is there anything in there? Did you end up eating that peanut? Oh, shoot. I put the peanut on the counter while I was trying to find more peanuts in his ear and he just ate it. So he's kind of my son, I guess. What do you have to say for yourself? Are you going to put nuts in your ear ever again? No. No. Yeah. No, give daddy kisses. No. That's my charge. That's what I'm charging you for doing that procedure on you. Give me kisses. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is our Bubs. He's the best. He's kind of crazy, but we love him. Are you crazy? Give me kisses. No, not with your tongue. Yeah, he could be licking himself for hours now. Now my ear is itching. So I cooked lunch for the kids, made some fried eggs, and Sydney, our responsible eight-year-old daughter, was out here in the kitchen eating with baby Jack. And I thought she was out here. I went into the office, came out here because it's pouring. So I need to make sure like the sleeping bags and everything else are in the house because the kids slept out last night. And it looks like Jack had some little fun with some ketchup. Here's the hair color if you'd like your kids to have this kind of fashion statement. Apparently just licking it off a plate wasn't enough so Jack had to put it on his head. Why'd you do that Jack? 
Why'd you put ketchup on your hair? Is that a fashion statement? <laughs> He's being shy, and now he wants to give me a ketchup hug. Mm. Your hair actually tastes really good. On my diet, I'm not eating any sugar, so I haven't had ketchup in like four weeks, and my two main staples before were ketchup and Diet Coke, and I haven't had either of those, so maybe I'll have him use a Diet Coke on his hair next time. Daddy still loves you, ketchup head. Oh man, so I just wiped Jack's head off, and I now know what I'm gonna give my mother for Mother's Day. Look, Mom, a ketchup handprint, what you've always wanted. Oh, jeez. Should we give this to Grandma for Mother's Day? <laughs> He's being shaggy. I'm gonna have to go change my clothes because now my shirt's got ketchup on him. I tell you what, we've spent more money replacing spices and all sorts of different things from our pantry because of this little knucklehead here. Earlier today, he had ketchup in his hair and now he has Brownie mix. This counter right here was just a big mound of brownie mix. There's still some on the floor. <sighs> and out of my wiser judgment, I decided I'd better start cleaning it before videoing it just in case his mom came home because I'm watching Jack right now. I can't say babysit because apparently uh, dads don't babysit. Jack, why do you have brownie mix everywhere? What were you trying to do? It's my pets. Look at that. It's like, oh, we could put you in the oven right now and make you into a brownie. Should we do that? Uh, it's hard to stay mad at this kid because he's just so adorable. It's easy to stay mad at some of the other kids. No, I'm just kidding. And this brownie mix, he opened the box up earlier today and, and opened the seal and got into it. And we had two locks on the pantry, and the kids broke both of those, so the pantry's now a free-for-all. I'm on a diet, so I don't do too much damage in there, but these kids, wow, especially Jack. Holy cow. Mmm, these spice cookies are going to be really good. Jack, where'd you put the ginger? What do you have to say for yourself, Jack? What he's trying to say is, I'm guilty! Are you guilty? <laughs> I'll give you kisses. Wow. Pretty tasty kisses. <laughs> oh, man. There's like a, a cloud of brownie dust in the air now. Wow. It's not good for the pollution. We still love Jack, huh? Give me kisses. Mm-hmm.